Hello, Barmy Badger Army. Hey, Badger Army. Welcome to the show. And of course, we've all been wondering what Nick's been up to in his absence on the show. So he's going to tell us in a few different times. We've also got a travel vlog coming up. We've got loads of stuff. And uh, Nick wants to talk about his experiences at Latitude today. Very cool. Yes. So uh, I was at Latitude Festival, which happens in Southwold in Suffolk at Henham Park, to be okay. specific. Is that easy to get to from here, old boy? Uh, well, the handy thing is they have they had a uh, like an initiative where you could get a coach from Victoria Station all the way there. That's really useful. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's not too bad. I mean, fest they have like shuttle buses and stuff. So yeah, festival sites are are you know they they're easier to get to than they used to be simply because people have to be a bit practical mm. and the organisers kind of like had to work out that there are that not everyone there can drive so they can get And obviously there. they want to get as many people involved as possible. Indeed. So, yeah, so so it was, so it was uh, mid-July that uh, I that I went and um, and saw there's all sorts of acts. I mean, the main headliners were Solange, who's best known as Beyonce's sister. Okay. It was a bit quiet for her set. I think she's actually not that well known over here. I was going to say, I don't really she's know still much about her. trading on kind of like being Beyonce's sister. Yeah, um, I don't really know, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't really follow pop, mm. but, uh, you know, usually you have the rumblings of who's who and things like that, yeah. and I can't say I knew her. She's had, she's had a couple of kind of, like, hits in, like, the top 40 and stuff like that, but, mm. um, but yeah. Oh, so she hasn't it. broken the UK yet, obviously? Um, possibly not. And then on Saturday night we had the Killers headlining. Now there's a band the Badger knows. Ah uh, yes, that was probably it. Went from like being one of the uh, one of the quietest main stage appearances to one of the most packed. I bet everyone was like, "The Killers are here, run, lads!" Yes, and yes, it's it's one of those things where you realize where you kind of like you realize just how many Killer songs you know. I mean, it's. It's been, mm. I mean, they've, they've actually been around for like a, a decade and a half now. For I me, was going to say, it was, it's been a fair while now. It was now. the first time, <coughs> excuse me, it was the first time that I'd seen them live since my first ever Reading Festival okay. in 2005. Right. So, yeah, it's like they've, they've uh, I actually think they were better this time around. So. Really? Because obviously that's the thing, like a lot of bands either peak too early or pop, like get better and better and better as they go along, you know? Uh, you're so good. I bet. What was the experience? Did you Were you close up or were you quite far I away? Was, what was it I like? was quite far away. They've got like large screens on the side of the stage, oh, okay, so you yeah. can still see what's going on. Similar but, to when I went to see Metallica, actually. Yeah. You know. mm. Yeah, so, so yeah, so that was, uh, that was good fun, fun to watch. Um, mm. On Sunday, Alt J were the main headliners. On Sunday, who sorry? Alt J, they're a kind of uh, electronic act. Oh, okay. they, they are. They know, well, are they? No, they've been kicking around for about like uh, seven or eight years now. Okay, but um, but yeah, there's but uh, yeah, they 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 um. They're, they're the sort of band that uh, the critics like and they've picked up fans along the way. Oh, okay. So it's so, one of these things where they were popular before they were popular and then... Yeah. Right, so, I know what you mean. Yeah, so so it was good fun. I mean, to be, to be honest with you, there's so much more to Latitude than just the headliners. Mm. I mean, there are a couple of other bands I saw that I quite liked. I saw... Um, I, I saw uh, Sleeper, uh, who... Uh, were famous in the Britpop boom of the I 90s. I was going to say, I think I know a band called Sleeper. I think uh, a regular to the show, Simp John, has told me about those yeah. many times. Yeah, af after kind of like a long spell, after kind of like they basically split up in the late in the mm. late 90s. Okay. After the Britpop boom died. And then, and um, the, their lead singer, Louise Wiener, became uh, a novelist. Okay, interesting. And... Yeah, and then kind of like a couple of years ago, they reformed. That's pretty cool, really, so, yeah. when you think and about it. Louise Wiener, she hasn't aged in the slightest. Really? Okay. Yeah. You know, she's, she, so yeah, she still looks pretty much like she did. She's got slightly longer hair now, but that's it. Um, yeah, well, so, that's, yeah. It's, it's the fashion, isn't it? Yeah. It goes so, it was fashion. Really, so, um, so it was really good to see them, and I never saw them live at the time. I didn't do a lot of gigging, kind of like in the nineties in my teens. No, no. So it's really good to be able to see them, to see all these bands live. And uh, okay. James, do you remember James? I think they so. Yeah. Headline. They had a song called "Sit Down." 
Oh, yes, I know that one. They didn't actually play that song. What? They, they have they have some other songs that they're known for, like oh, Made okay. and stuff like that. But yeah, they didn't they didn't play a lot of their old stuff. They've they've got like I think they've got a new album now, so they were mainly uh, more about promoting that. That so, rather than going so, backwards, right? Okay, that's yeah, really good for them. So, then. So yeah, and the th the thing with Latitude is there's loads of other stuff. There's a there's a cabaret tent. That's really there's a cool. Poetry tent. See, some people there's, might just go for that. There's a literature tent. Very cool. And it's next to a forest, and they have loads of stuff going on. In the really, forest. that's really cool. So yeah, so yeah, I'll be posting some videos from Latitude on my Instagram. That's right, and at, we've got the travel vlog Nick. coming up, yep. and that's probably gonna have some bits and pieces as well. Yep. Yeah, we've got lots of travel vlogs, lots of things coming up. So uh, if you're enjoying these videos about Latitude and the travel vlogs, please stay tuned. They're loads of fun. Is there anything else you want to add, Nick? Like perhaps you met someone famous? Yeah, I met Zoe Ball. Very cool. Yeah, she was doing her. Um, she was doing she was doing her her Radio Two show mm. on the BBC Introducing Stage, so it's right. kind of like live from Latitude. That's um, awesome. Man. And between songs, you know, she had lots of like kids coming up and asking her questions. Yeah. And I managed to get a selfie with her. So very cool. Yes, I did see that on your Insta. Yeah. yeah. It was very so cool. It was, uh, so yeah, it was uh, really so yeah, was, and she's re she's really nice as well. She's mm. really um, very approachable, happy to have photos taken and stuff like that. So yeah. yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, and thanks, Nick. Yeah, so anything else, buddy? I did meet Bob Flowerdew from Gardener's Question Time. Very cool. Very my, cool. Yeah, my... Yeah, so yeah, my my mum admired me for that. Very cool, My yes. mum listens to Gardener's Question Time really, really? Okay. every week. Okay. So, yeah, so I got... So, yeah, so uh, he's he's been on, like, Gardener's World and everything like that. So, so. he's, like, super famous... Bob Flowerdew is very famous in the gardening world. Oh, okay. So, okay. yeah, Looking I did up. some other interviews as well, which you can uh, listen to on the Phoenix FM website, phoenixfm.com. Mm, very cool. Lovely stuff. Well, Nick, thanks for joining us today, buddy, and talking about Latitude. Insane. And we're, of course, look forward to the clips from Latitude and our previous adventures in the travel vlogs very soon. So if you're enjoying those... Please have loads of fun and don't forget to check out one of our newest videos, the Nerf Tin Can Alley Challenge and uh, all the other videos that me and Nick will be doing in due course today. Thanks very much for joining me today, Nick. You're more than welcome as always, matey. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. See you later on, guys.